Boa tarde, everyone. Como estão? How are you? This is podcast 31, podcast 31 of Portuguese with Carla. Bem-vindos. Eu sou a Carla. E eu sou o marido da Carla. Sim, o Marlon. Marlon hum. Filipe. Da Silva Sabala. Muito bem. Então, qual é a cena de hoje? What's the scene for today? The scene for today, Carla. Yes. Uh, well, last week we decided we wanted some snails. Yes. For lunch. Yes. Afternoon snack. Mm -hmm. And so we decided we were going to go to the... Casa dos Caracóis. Right. Which is actually a chain. It does exist. And we went there last week. And uh, yeah, the snails Very were very nice. Good. Uh, yes. And uh, so today it's all about getting directions. Mm -hmm. All right. Shall we just go for it? No. Okay. <laughs> no, because we need to tell them where to go for the dialogue. Carla. Okay, go ahead then. So it's ptwoodcolor.com slash podcast 31. All right, 31. And there you'll find a dialogue as well as a flashcard so you can memorize all the nice vocabulary, new vocabulary, quite a bit, um, quite a bit on this one. Uh, so, yes, I need to put some sound effects here, Carla. Okay, so we're uh, ready to teach. But we'll right. get started. Pronto, então diz lá. É fácil. Não há nada que enganar. É como se fosses para o supermercado. Qual deles? O continente. Sim, então vamos lá. Quando chegares à rotunda, perto da estação de comboios, sais na primeira saída. Uh -huh. Depois, segues em frente até aos semáforos. Passando os semáforos, viras na segunda à direita. Isso é a estrada que tem a escola primária do lado esquerdo, não é? Isso mesmo. Podias ter dito isso logo no início. Então já sabes o caminho. Decora e salteado. A casa dos caracóis fica na esquina, entre a escola e a farmácia. Ok. Ok. Good. So there's quite a lot of lines, English. but they're, they're quite short. Mm -hmm. Translation for into English. Go. Um, so I start by saying... Ok, then. Uh, tell me. It's easy. Oh, it's easy. You cannot go wrong. It's as if you're going to the supermarket. Uh, which one? Uh, the continent. All right, then. Let's go. Ok. When you get to the roundabout near the train station, you'll take the first exit. Mm -hmm. Then you carry on up until the traffic lights. After the traffic lights, you um, take your second right. Oh, that's the road that has the primary school on the left-hand side, isn't it? That is right. You could have told me that in the beginning. Well, now you know the way. The Cori Saltia. A Casa dos Caracóis, the Casa dos Caracóis, is on the corner. On the corner, in the corner. In the corner, on the corner, yeah. Oh, Not whatever. sure. You get the meaning. Between the school and the pharmacy. Good. All right. Uh, so next week, I guess we will be in the um, Casa dos Caracóis ordering food or snails. Mm -hmm. But uh, this week, we just want to go... We're on the way there. Yeah, we're on the way there. Okay. So let's take this slowly. We'll, uh, we'll help you with the pronunciation. And if you want to repeat after me and Carla... Then by the end of it, you should have a good idea. Don't don't be intimidated. I, I guess uh, we were going through this, and I was just thinking, yeah, if they listen to this for the first time, it's very quick. You might not get a lot of it, but after the next twenty minutes or so, hopefully you'll be able to follow along quite easily, or at least you'll understand a bit more. All right. So I start by saying pronto, pronto, meaning okay, all right, ready. Então diz lá. So tell me then. Uh, la is not there, even though that's where you'll find a dictionary. In this case is uh, a please. Diz lá. Or then. Então diz lá. Então diz lá. Pronto. Pronto. Então diz lá. É fácil. It's easy. Não há nada que enganar. 
there is nothing to mislead, I think, um, literally. So there's, um, you can't go wrong. É fácil. É fácil. Não há nada. Não há nada. Que enganar. Que enganar. Não há nada que enganar. É como se fosses, as it's as if you were going. É como se fosses, é como se fosses para o supermercado, para o supermercado. Supermercado, uma palavra, one word. É como se fosses. Para o supermercado. And when we say quickly, we may say é como se fosses para o supermercado. Pro. Just butter and o oh, all together, throw them, merge them into one word. Pro. É como se fosses para o supermercado. Um, they do. Well, the first breakdown is para to pra and then add the o oh, pro. Mm -hmm. Is that it? That's your that line? is it. Okay, so I say. Which one of them? Qual is which, uh, and deles is of them of combined. Them. Mm -hmm. Okay, deles. It's not delas. Deles because su supermarket supermercado in Portuguese is male. Um, so imagine, I don't know. How do you imagine a supermarket being a man? You don't. <laughs> well, no, it's good to have some sort of. Um, o supermercado. Well, you know, you just have to learn it's masculine. And when you learn, learn it with the article, o supermercado. Think of Superman. Superman's a man, supermarket. Right. There you go. If it was uh, something else like feminine, it would be delas. Qual delas? But qual delas? Delas. Qual delas? Qual delas? All right. O continente. O Continente. Big one in Portugal, no? Eh? Continent. I think it's the biggest. They actually ended up buying everyone. They used to have. There used to be quite a lot more around. Mm, different ones. Carrefour used to be a pretty popular Carrefour one. Carrefour é incrível e nos preços imbatível. <laughs> That's French, isn't it? Carrefour. It's pre it does Ooh, sound plenty it, of them. It? Carrefour. I don't know. Uh, continent is. Uh, what's the uh, slogan that everyone knows for continent, Carl? Novidades. Só no continente. That's a really old one, but anyway. Yeah, so they must have a new one, sure. Yeah, so if you sure. call somebody in Portugal and you say any news, live there. they might just tell you só no continente. Only in the continent, yeah. A continent. Yeah, in the continent, that's right, yeah. Anyway, See. yes, uh, good. So you've done that, but very short line. My line then says, or well, I say, um, sim, então vamos lá. Okay, let's uh, go there. Or oh, let's go then. Vamos lá. Again, you might be confused. The la is not saying let's go there, even though it makes sense here. Mm -hmm. It's actually saying uh, let us go then. Vamos lá. Então, vamos lá. Sim. Sim, então vamos lá. Ok. Oh. Yes. Uh, ok. So I say, quando chegares à rotunda, perto da estação de comboios, when you get to the roundabout near the train station, quando chegares. So whenever you get to. And when you use in English this whenever, your verb should be in the future subjunctive. Ok. It looks like the infinitive or the verb in the root form. With a little extra. This is what I hear. Blah, blah, okay. blah, 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 blah. <laughs> All right, maybe some of you do too. And some of us do understand. But yeah, whenever you do something. So it's something that's going to happen in the future. Okay. Uh, but it's whenever that happens. So that's why there's a little bit of um, uncertainty, I suppose. And that's why we use this adjunctive. Um, okay, doesn't matter. Enough of that. 
Quando chegares, quando chegares à rotunda, to the roundabout, à rotunda, to would be a, the would be a, then the, the fuse, the, right? a. Dragon Ball fuse. Thank you. Obrigada. Quando chegares à rotunda, perto da estação de comboios, estação, drop the E, really, we don't really say estação, we could, but not normally, da estação, so it sounds like one word, da estação, quando chegares à rotunda, perto da estação, estação de comboios, Train station, estação de comboios. Sais na primeira saída. So you go out in the first exit, literally. So you take the first exit. Sais, which could also be the plural of salt, sal, salts, sais. Sais na primeira saída. Sais, sais de banho. Mm -hmm. Bath salts. Mm -hmm. Ok, so again, let's just say the whole line. Quando chegares à rotunda, perto da estação de comboios, sais na primeira saída. Marlon, and your line was? My line in English uh, is mm -hmm. In português, mm -hmm. Muito bem. So then. so then I say, depois segues em frente até aos semáforos. Then you... Um, go straight ahead? Yeah, go straight ahead. You carry on in front until the traffic lights. Depois segues em frente até aos semáforos. Depois... Segues em frente. Segues em frente. So, segs, the last S will change into a Z sound when uh, I pronounce the word that comes after. Depois, segs em frente. Segs em frente. Até aos. Até aos. Up until. Or until to the. Até aos. Semáforos. Semáforos. I think we nearly dropped the first time of semáforos. Passando os semáforos, passing by the traffic lights, or leaving them behind, or after that, uh, viras na segunda à direita. You turn on the second one on the right. Passando os semáforos, Passando os semáforos, viras na segunda, viras na segunda, à direita, à direita. Ok. So I say, uh, isso é a estrada que tem a escola primária do lado esquerdo, não é? Uh -huh. slower. Uh, uh -huh. Estrada, uh, so estrada is road and uh, road. Is I always got these confused when I first moved here. What's that? Because estrada is road, correct? Uh -huh. But uh, street, which sounds more like estrada, is rua, is which rua. sounds more like road. Yes. <laughs> so it's like the push. In English, push uh -huh. is the Portuguese. Um, empurre, mm -hmm. but the Portuguese push P -U -S. is the English oh, no. P U X E. Yeah, so the Portuguese push means pull. Not yeah. So it's uh. it's confusing. So anyway, strada is road. Okay. Anyway, we'll get to that word in a second. Uh, lado esquerdo. So esquerdo. The opposite of direito, esquerdo, lado esquerdo, do lado esquerdo, primária, 
escola primária. I can see why um, some foreigners, not foreigners, some people who are looking on and listening to Portuguese, they say Portuguese speakers can be identified by sh, sh, sh everywhere. Just in this sentence, there's a bunch of them. Estrada, escola, esquerda. Hmm. Anyway, escola primária. Escola primária do lado esquerdo. Okay. Primary school on the left hand side. Que tem a. Que tem a. And joined with a bit we've already learned. Que tem a escola primária do lado esquerdo. Estrada. É a estrada. É a estrada. That's how they will say it. É a estrada. Isso. That. Isso é a estrada. And the whole thing now. Isso é a estrada que tem a escola primária do lado esquerdo. And then at the end I say, não é. Ene. In it. The Portuguese isn't for in it. it, or isn't it, would be the ne. And when you abbreviate isn't it, or is no it way. not? In it, in it, we say ne. Ne. And some people just use ne, not in a... Well, I guess some people, some just like some English people would use in it everywhere, or isn't it. In it is more of a, perhaps where we live, they use that a lot, but isn't it. Uh, but yeah, some people cannot say uh, two sentences without putting ne <laughs> five times. Uh, so if you if you heard, heard it before or if you hear it from now on, uh, and you will, because you're a, bit, you're a bit conscious of it now, that's what it means, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Carla. Isso mesmo. That's right. That is it. You got it. Isso mesmo. Isso mesmo. And again, isso mesmo. Isso mesmo. So I then say, podias ter dito isso logo no início. Could have told me that from the start. Or at the start. Início. No início. Logo. Logo no início. Dito isso, said that, or told that. Dito isso, dito isso logo no início. I'll say it a bit slower. Dito isso logo no início. Podes ter, sorry, podias ter. Podias ter dito isso logo no início. We might go... Be going through these quite quickly, but you can go back and uh, and read along with us. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, that's my line, Carla. Okay. Então, then, already you know the way. Então, já sabes o caminho. Then, you know it. You already know it. You got it. Então, já sabes o caminho. Já sabes o caminho. Again, the S from sabes, changing into a Z sound because of the O after... Já sabes o caminho. Já sabes o caminho. Once more. Então, já sabes o caminho. All right. So, that, then my response is the cori salteado, which is a great expression, which we'll take uh, through the not in a textbook moment. Mm-hmm. Saber de cor e salteado Literal meaning By heart and skipped The colloquial meaning When one knows something very well Not only in the order in which it was learned But in any order Equivalent expression in English To know it back to front And another To know it by heart Now let's put it in context I know my time tables. De cor e salteado. There you go. They are. So I say de cor e salteado because I know the way 
by heart or very, very well. So Scala said that um, literally meaning you're saying, you know, by heart, and even you could you could tell it salty other meaning you could uh, mention it in... Yeah, back to no, front in any order. In any order. Because sometimes we say just the car. We know it, the car, that's yes. by heart. But then if we add the salteado, then it could still be translated as just I know it by heart or by memory. But it's like you really, really know it. Yeah, I know it back to front. Yes. Now, you found out something about the car, because I, I, it was always strange to me when people, when I moved to, to England and people used to say, well, I, I know it by heart. And I think, what, what does your heart have to do with knowing <laughs> stuff? It's in your head. Um, but you found out that the car is... Is that like a remnant from the French? Okay, a cor, cor is uh, a, a Latin, isn't it? Okay. And obviously Portuguese comes from Latin as well as French. The word for heart in French is very similar to just, it's not spelled that way, but it's very similar uh, pronunciation to, to cor, C-O-R. And the word for heart in, in Portuguese is coração, C-O-R-A-C with a little thing underneath it, A with a swiggle over it, O. Curação. Okay, so I've never thought about it, but yes, yeah, so it's quite likely that, that the cor is still from the heart. So there is a connection mm. between the English, I know it from the heart. Yeah, because you don't heart. even have to think about it, you just do it, don't you? Uh, I guess that's, yeah, you've got it, you've got it, woman. Oh, well, thank you. Good, all right, Excuse so um, right. the cor is salteado. Oh, mm. I never did the, expre- the uh, uh, pronunciation, even though you probably already have it. Salteado. Salteado. Does this have anything to do with cooking? I seem to think that you might use this expression yeah, in cooking. Yeah, sometimes I think, I'm not quite sure, but I, I think that uh, like we have cogumel salteados, like saute mushrooms. I'm not sure, but it's I have seen this word translated as uh, saute. So I suppose maybe it's not a word that you find uh, in English uh, when it comes to translating it um, like in a recipe. Because I think sauté sounds, sounds French, rather French, yeah, and it looks French. But salteado simply means you, you jump over. Yeah, bits, because it like comes from hopping. the verb saltar, which is to jump or skip. So sauté mushrooms is maybe mushrooms jumping about in a pan. <sighs> maybe there's a connection there somewhere. I don't think so, but okay. The cord, <laughs> not cord, because that cord is very similar, isn't it? Mm. In terms of, well, yeah. The cor, the cor, the cor is salteado. All right, Carla, now that's your turn to okay. do the next bit. The house of snails, a, the casa dos caracóis, fica na esquina, is uh, in a corner between, entre a escola e a farmácia, between the school and the pharmacy. Uh, Casa dos Caracóis, a Casa dos Caracóis, and Caracóis doesn't only mean just, it doesn't just mean snails, it means curls as well. Okay, so if somebody has a curly hair, then you could say that they have Caracóis. Because snails have curly shells. I suppose, yes. Okay, so a Casa dos Caracóis fica na esquina, is in a corner, fica na esquina, fica na esquina. Entre a escola e a farmácia. Entre a escola. Entra. Entre a. Entra. Entre a escola. Or entre a escola. E a farmácia. Ok. Se tu. Uh, farmacia, sim. Actually, if you know, if you go to Lisbon, you'll still still see some pharmacies mm-hmm. that have the PH. Don't they? Mm. We don't have any more PH. That's disappeared out of the Portuguese language. But, but we did used to have. Did yeah. used to have it. So there's a connection between the English and the Portuguese. And pharmacy is one of the ones that you will still see in really old pharmacies in Lisbon. PH, AR, etc., etc. Farmacia. Okay. Right, there you are. Uh, 25 minute podcast. That must be a record. <laughs> but we haven't finished, have we? I uh, suppose not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because we, we want to get uh, the references to people. So if they want to get these podcasts uh, and these lessons, 
uh, then of course the best way to do it is to subscribe to our podcast. That's Portuguese with Carla. You can look for it anywhere uh, on your podcast app, perhaps if you have an Android phone or an iPhone, or you can go to YouTube, subscribe to our channel Portuguese with Carla, and you'll get them uh, there as well. Twitter is at at PT with Carla. Uh, but the best thing to do really is to go to our website because there, if you go to ptwoodcarla.com slash blog, you find everything. You find everything, including some some articles that we do post from time to time. But the advantage of going to each individual podcast uh, page is that you get more stuff. Not only will you get the uh, dialogue, but you'll get some uh, flashcards there to uh, play with. That being said, Carla? This is it. Is it? Okay. Shall we put the jingle on and we'll say <laughs> okay. goodbye? All right. Ciao. Ciao, everyone. Até a próxima.